Hello, my name is Dr. Paul Kim. Today I'll be discussing the minimally invasive bunion procedure. So what are bunions? Well, bunion is, the medical term is hallux valgus deformity. It is when you have that bump develop on the inside of the big toe. Some common causes of bunions are hereditary, hypermobility of the first ray. It could also be traumatic, external factors such as shoe wear, or it can be just idiopathic. Traditional non-operative treatment for bunion surgery are usually bunion spacers, bunion splints, orthotics, wide toe box shoes, and modified activities. So when is surgery indicated for bunions? Well, when you start developing pain in the foot that is not treated by the conservative options, that is a classic sign. Some other symptoms you have to worry about are aberrant callus formations on the foot, such as callus under the second toe, which is unusual. That is a marker for possibly developing some overload that can lead to crossover toe deformities. When you think about bunion surgery, there's over 100 procedures available. The tried and true typically is the lapidus bunionectomy, a procedure that I used to perform and I still do occasionally. However, the lapidus bunionectomy is one of those surgeries that's extremely painful. If you've ever met someone that's had prior bunion surgery, that's probably what they've been referring to as the most pain they've ever had in their life. Lapidus bunionectomies are quite challenging to recover from. You're non pain for at least six to eight weeks. You have joint stiffness, you have pain, infection, neuritis. Now, why did I convert to my bunion surgery to minimally invasive bunion surgery? Mainly because it's a triplane correction. You're correcting both in the X, Y, Z plane because you can rotate and translate. Aesthetically, it's pleasing. Patients feel that the pain is much more well tolerated and recovery is a lot faster. Some of the downsides of the minimally invasive bunion surgery, typically with any surgery, are neuritis, infection, hardware pain. Now, what is so special about the minimally invasive bunion? What makes it minimally invasive? Well, we're using small incisions, but specifically it's the instrumentation that we're using. Basically a burr at low speed, but high torque. When you think about the minimally invasive bunion surgery, the timeline is broken up into two week intervals. The first two weeks, you're only heel weight bearing, either in a post-operative shoe or a surgical boot. From weeks two to week four, you can actually start weight bearing as tolerated as long as you wear the surgical shoe or the surgical boot. At week four is when we convert you into athletic shoes. The most common complaint is the swelling. That swelling does subside, but it does take a few weeks. Full recovery usually takes in the realm of about three months. Some products that are useful after minimally invasive bunion surgery are the cast bag for showering, the Hoka recovery slide, Darko wedge shoe, and some people actually offer the ice machine. Well, I hope this was informational and useful. For more information, please visit my website at drpaulkim.org or visit bunionpain.com. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you next time.